Hi, good evening, sir. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Karan Chaudhary. We actually represent Falcon Airways. I'd like to introduce myself as well as my team together. I, Karan, I am the finance head of the company, whereas I have Himal, who is our HR, uh, who is the marketing head. There is our CEO, uh, who we have said operation head, who is Roshan. We have Hirendra, who is one of our most key resources, which are HR head. So, with all due, without uh, wasting time, I would request if we could start our presentation time. I'd like to give it to Dima, you would speak first. Fabulous. First, I would like to talk about the contents, what we are going to talk about. First, overview of the company, industry analysis, analysis of capabilities, performance results, uh, diagnosis of performance, diagnosis of critical incident, and future plans. Overview of the company. Why Falcon? Falcon represents a bird that is powerful and fast flying, so we choose this name. Falcon Air Mission. Our mission is to become the preferred leading regional air carrier, air carrier with highest network coverage, flight safety, reliability, and quality service. Company's vision. Uh, our vision is to become an air carrier, carrier with, a, with a continuous growth over the airline industry. Most envied service level across all the market. Company's core value. Honesty and fair dealing. Productivity. Confidentiality. Customer satisfaction. Employee satisfaction and teamwork. So now I'll be talking about Falcon Air CSR and Ethics. All the decisions of the company will be made in compliance with Falcon Air, Falcon Air's code of conduct, policies, ethics, and procedures. The company will be sensitive about environment problems and avoid being harmful for the environment while, while performing its activities. Whereas the company will also follow and fulfill its CSR responsibilities by contributing a share of its profit every quarter. Falcon Air overall strategy. After utilizing various techniques, the company decided to pursue a different strategy for Falcon Air. The strategy is centered on this service, which, which cannot be replicated and will be will enable, enable us to charge, to charge competitive price for our service. So now I would like to call Roshan. Thank you very much, uh, Simhal. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Right, uh, I'll be talking about industry analysis and also the analysis of the capabilities. For the industry analysis is a very important for any business. It not only gives you insight into the industry, but also provides you the basis for competition. Uh, the third year framework uh, we performed to analyze the industry was Bristol. From the Bristol analysis, we found that there, there were different factors which could be used as a basis for competition. For example, choice of rules. We could choose rules and then we could either outperform our competitors. We could choose air drop flight, we could choose the maintenance program, we could choose the Fuel expenses, whether to buy on spot or buy on contract. Uh, we can also use the dividend payout system, you know, pay dividends to earn uh, shareholders value. So this is how we analyze the industry. From this, we also identified that the in the beginning of the in the beginning of the, beginning of the simulation, the companies were uh, were in a global market. That means there, was, there were two companies competing in a single market. If you look carefully, you can see from A to D, there is company 1 and 2. From A, from 9A to 12D, you can see company 3 and 4. And we identified that company 5 were lucky. They did not have company 6 to compete with. So, our next strategy was to expand into FN hours that were unserved and to expand into the rules the company fire flying because they have no competition. So that uh, due to, uh, that was all due to the analysis of the industry. Now, 
uh, the capabilities, the internal capabilities of uh, the airline was analyzed using those. Now, from those, uh, we can see the threat where the increased competition with the markets, that means due to the industry deregulation, any company could enter any market. So, other company poses threats. Now, uh, other was well, increased maintenance cost of this stock. We have three B stocks in the beginning of the simulation. Now, the maintenance cost of the B stocks were higher than other aircraft. Now, that also poses a threat to the company. The opportunity was we had the financial opportunity to expand into other routes, and also there were many routes that were unserved or either very less served. The weak cases was the current fleet of aircraft. B stock, there were only three B stock. The business were noisy and uncomfortable. That would not help meet our strategy of providing company service to our customers. So we need we needed to change our aircraft. Also, the current maintenance work was at level one. The low working capital, if you, the financial you know, the capital was very much low. And we identified our strength was the airline had a reputation and was well known in the industry. And there was a line of credit. We could borrow loans and fund our expansion. That was the uh, internal capabilities identified. Now, uh, uh, this figure here shows how the internal capabilities could increase over time with the performance. In the quarter zero, you can see the line of credit was only 5.1 million. The company was not offering here. We took over the company, and at the end, after eight quarters, we built. By performing very minor, our life rate increased to 12.1 million. That was due to our performance. And also, if you look at the sort of interest rate, the banks were happy with our performance, they decreased the interest rate from 8% to 9%. So, this shows how our internal capabilities increased over time during. Thank you. Now, I'd like to uh, turn to take over the presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sir. I would like to take it slow and I would like to talk about how our performance was throughout the eight quarters we did. Performance is a very, very key and uh, indicator because this actually gives the faith of the company as well as how sustainable the company will be. What I felt was during uh, this airline simulation program, not only us, the whole team was taught how business should be run. In, not only in terms of a computer, but in terms of communication, in terms of different functions and different roles and responsibilities, how everyone worked. Going forward to the performance and results, the first uh, slide which I bring here for is what our key uh, performance results were. We measured our performance in terms of three specific indicators because these are the key indicators which I believe and my company believes that this will help our, uh, our company to be sustainable as well as grow in the future, earn more profits, which are more obvious. First one, if you see, is high stock profit uh, prices. Uh, in the analysis which uh, the company, the whole industry analysis dashboard, we actually found that our uh, stock prices have been going non-stop from fourth quarter onwards. And today we have the high stock prices which is a commendable job and a very, very, very remarkable achievement for our company where already in two quarters we have gone negative in terms of net profit. Secondly, highest return on sales. Usually when we are talking about highest return on sales is really correlating with how much your expenses is and how much you try to spend and how much you earn out of it. What we got to know is uh, talking about industry average and comparing us together. Our performance is far much more higher than industry. So talking in terms of numbers here, our the industry was actually stationed at a uh, average of uh, one percent, one point two to be precise, on return on sales, whereas we grew to six point seven percent, which is six times higher than what the industry is, which is remarkable. Achievement again. Third last mark, uh, market uh, result which we got was the reach in the markets. Um, this might not seem very, very, very promising towards a company's portfolio, but in terms of customer uh, 
so, social responsibility and gain loyalty in customers. This is one of the biggest and most important factors. The reason why I picked this graph in order to explain today was this shows a snapshot of all eight quarters. On top of that, this shows uh, the uh, faint red line with several dots shows our net profit during each quarter. So this is a this is a, not a very clean uh, graph to show, but just a nice rep representation which I can put here. The green line is the operating expense we have. The blue line is the net revenue, as well as the red line is gross revenue. I'd like to start with the gross revenue in this case. What you would see is across this part. It is very low. Uh, this was mainly because of our uh, expansion progress. This suddenly picked up only, only, only because of how we expanded into different markets. And we thought capturing market share was not our game, but capturing the markets was our game. We wanted to capture what the blue ocean mar markets were, which the company number five had an advantage because they were allotted uh, industry where there were no competitors. Whereas each one of us, one, two, three, four, had uh, competitors in each segment. So my point here would be our target value is the highest. Our market share is the highest. Here I would also like to talk about our balance forecast analysis. We actually increased salary and invested into training which gave us more uh, retention and then we, for, uh, we actually invested into media and marketing on this, uh, during the end quarters. Our key success factors were quality of fleet, customer service, marketing and uh, investment in marketing and sales function, choice of routes to serve, adapting fluctuating market conditions which were on the winter side, reliability and pricing strategy. Here our prognosis of uh, quarter one and quarter four was quarter one was basically because of we were selling our tickets on a margin loss and quarter four was because we actually um, yeah, invested into more of roots and we expanded our roots and that time itself the winter uh, market hit so all the ticket sales plummeted. This is one way how we actually took decisions. I would want you to analyze this because this is a key indicator on how we we function as a buying this mode. So we actually first analyzed unserved markets, then we looked at the demand, what uh, type of demand is there. Then we came down to what are the competitors doing, what are the aircraft types, what are the airfare types, and then that gave a dashboard where we could understand how to get into a market. We actually got similar aircrafts, better service, and low fare. We came down to two uh, incidents I'd like to explain. First is about the lights. Here yeah, I'm going to talk about two parts of the presentation. First is diagnosis of critical incident and second one is future uh, plans. First, the diagnosis of critical incident. Uh, critical incident was one of the hardest parts of the whole simulation. Uh, our team used to spend hours making decisions and here we have taken the critical incident number two that is channel of distribution. Here we have four decisions out of which we have chosen decision number three that is maintain your telephone and bank, telephone bank and open a website of your phone for ticket sales. Uh, the rationale behind this was when we sell our tickets to our own website, we do not have to pay a commission to the agent here. In, in doing so, we can save the money there. So the same money we are giving it to the customers like through discounts, through which we can gain competitive advantage. And thus it will really enhance in our reliability. Now future plans. Expansion is inevitable. The ultimate goal of any business is to expand or to increase the brand value. Similarly, the Falcon Airways is also expanding its market in 11 C, uh, in 11, uh, C and 7 e where there are only two competitors right now. Falcon Airways is very confident that we can enter this market and rule. Uh, second, increase quality and training. The company is uh, always looking to continuously increase its quality and training budget to retain its employees which would again uh, increase the reliability of the company and increase the uh, red, red, uh, net revenue. Major change in overall direction. That is use of two aircraft, use of two types of aircraft. 
Here, the yeah, top executives in the company has decided to go with only two kinds of uh, aircraft. The reason behind this was the fewer the number of aircraft you have, the lower the maintenance cost would be. That was given in our uh, report. And finally, the company will provide high quality service at competitive price consistently for the next four quarters. Right. You said that uh, you could uh, do that in this, so, but uh, on what basis are you Yeah, I mean, we are, the three, our future plans are continuously like, you know, the, 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 the way we manage, we expand it, the way we perform in these eight quarters, we are carrying it on until the next four quarters. That is, I mean, the basis is already there, you know. If you see... Yeah, we, that I would like to add there, in what, you know, Basis, it's in the marketing or it's in the, in, uh, or maybe operations. In what way you are, you know, taking your company ahead in the next you know, two years or four years? Four quarters. So, yeah, okay. next, next you know, quarter. Okay. okay. Yes. You have not mentioned about the. It's the you have mentioned about the your problem in the in between that operation was you have you know several air, you know aircraft purchase and all those things. Yeah. So that's the operation part of the HR part. You have the problem probably. Okay. We have not mentioned all those things in the yes, future. Yes, sir. So, um, we actually sat down and when it came to planning about four more quarters in the future, we actually, all four of our verticals sat down and we actually gave a different mm -hmm. thought to this. Mm -hmm. What we realized in terms of uh, marketing, uh, we found out, sorry, we found out that um, our initiation and in investments into the market during the last quarters actually helped us and helped our customers to know what Falcon Air was and why Falcon Air. Like in the real world where we say the differentiation between Air Asia or Malaysian Airlines is significantly different because Air Asia actually caters a different market whereas Malaysian Airlines caters a very different market. Air Asia is a budget airline whereas Air, uh, Malaysian Air, uh, Airlines is a, is a normal carrier. We actually kept ourselves different into different uh, markets. Uh, myself and the CEO, we actually sat down and decided this because different markets need different treatment. And whereas uh, marketing fields, there are only some kinds of markets where we can actually invest and marketing will help us. We actually thought we, were, we will sacrifice a couple of markets when it comes to earning profits out of it because we realized that our profits were only market driven because some areas we tried earning profits which we never got that's why in some cases we actually got negative in your plan to me it's very patchy okay. because you said expansion is inevitable they are all statements but you are supposed to outline outline your plan for four quarters why are you in answer references okay uh, so, just to uh, am I right? Yes, sir. You're very much right, right sir. Uh, because, to answer the, because, because of the time constraints, sir. We actually got a five minute warning, so we had to wrap this up fast. Okay. So, because of that itself, we actually like, pushed it a little fast. Just to get back to that, sir, uh, what uh, sir mentioned, right? Uh, if you see our four quarters, you know, after the fourth quarter, we have been constantly, you know, expanding to new markets sustainably. You know, we are not gone down. We have invested, as, as we are going bigger, we have invested more in marketing, more in promotion, more in advertising, and also higher salesperson as required. So, similarly, uh, our next, you know, as I said, our next entry will be into 11C and 7E market. You know, we have analyzed that, we have seen there is a potential in that market, you know, because uh, there are only two companies serving that market, and to do that, we will invest more in marketing, you know, promotion, advertising, and also hire salesperson to capture the that market. And uh, yeah, I mean, and then you know the quality, the aircraft. We'll also use only two type of aircraft that will provide you know uh, compelling service to our customer, to the customer to our airline. Just to add on that, sir, uh, talking about promotion strategy and adding what he said. We actually, uh, first of the ocean strategy was to gather a range of customers. So what we did is we needed to decrease pricing. Blue ocean strategy in this was we need to capture them through pricing because none of the competitors had actually thought about decreasing the sales uh, of uh, the ticket value. And you're moving to online ticketing because you want to save agent commission. But you want to appoint more agents from one of your answers because you want to pay them more. 
how much are you going to save by going on to online? How much are you going to save going online ticketing? So in this, I would like to uh, take things into two different ways. First way is I'd like to answer your website's thing because you want to invest into website is only because nowadays people are getting into more into a technical thing technical know-how and they don't want to invest time by going to a sales agent and doing things through them because they do understand they will save costs. Secondly, coming down into the sales agent's part, why we are trying to invest into uh, websites is because sales agents of course cost more, but in today's world not 100% of the ticket sales happens from uh, our sales agents. Approximately, approximately 60 to 70% is actually happening to sales agents. We are trying to shift that through websites, but it's becoming a tough call. So, to, not to lose the sales agent market and to keep them giving us more tickets, ticket sales revenue, we are comprising our sales agents few but high, high revenue generating sales.